Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Evil Chinchilla is Channel. Is it watching we're, us right now? Is what watching us? Alexa? Are we live? No, we're not live. Oh, because when you said hello, everybody, you actually waved in the air. You I know, just do we're that not. naturally. It, like, it's... Recorded. No. That's staying in the video, by the way. I'm not was, editing that out. I was thinking, I'm in my sweatpants <laughs> and an uh, ugly shirt, and no, you're going to record we're very, me live. No, no, no. We are very relaxed right now. When all these perfect robots are on the screen. I don't <laughs> Look at these fancy dress robots. Anyways, we're playing Detroit Become Human. Uh, Let me help. We're so back we're just, here we're with park. Oh, thank you, dear. the androids Welcome. taking care of the elderly and babies sitting in the park. Tech addict. You can Secret reread discovered androids. articles. Let's see. Oh. Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge CyberLife had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the humanization. I'm, I'm sorry. We just we Wait, don't, we don't have time. Important. I doubt it. Okay. Whoa, did you read that? That said perfect killing machines? What? Go back. Go back to the cover. Wait. Go back to the cover. God, ah, it's so hard to figure out the which way to swipe on this thing. Go back. Or just drop it and then... The, the Android ended. Soldier's perfect killing machines. <gasps> Is this a secret message? Or is this I like how or is all this their magazines are magazine? just, uh... Like, Harry Potter moving photos. Yeah, they're just tablets. Okay, since you're not reading in this anyways, let's put it down. Look, it looks like a book, but it's just like a tablet. Look, they even got androids doing the lawn. Mm. Yeah, and it seriously is putting people out of jobs. What up? You got my... stuff? <laughs> oh man, let's go harass the Android's baby. Android's baby. I don't oh. know if I trust Fellini paints an Android with my baby. I would trust way. them Whoa. with my lawn. Well, see, now that's just racist. They're robots. Oh man, you can we get a robot to run with you? That would probably be cool. Then you'd Where's always have target? a running buddy to cheer you on. Excuse me, ma'am. Miss, I don't like how she's not making eye contact. Wait for the green light. Wow. Who does this guy belong to? Uh, and what's his job? I am offended that you think he belongs to anyone. Th they sell the androids <laughs> to people. I know, I know. You're going to turn everyone against me when in reality... <laughs> Whoa, that's a cool car. That is a cool Segway car. Segway into new conversation. <laughs> uh, the light is green. Let me cross, thank you. God, I hate when people stop in the crosswalk. Uh, retrieve order Apple 847 paints. paints. See, he does work for someone. Excuse me, excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, I was walking here. She's stalking you. Time to enjoy. Wow, the they music. really put a lot of work into like all, the different all these little parts. subtle background things that like you probably wouldn't notice, but. So wow, nice. this is so pretty. I want to live here. Oh, uh oh. Whoa. Who's who's saying Did that? Did you see that flying thing? That thing? Up there? Like a mm -hmm. sky thing? Yeah. Oh. We are nothing. Kirk Franklin? Dust. Reverend, Just Reverend. Kidding. Why do you look at me so demon? <gasps> I know who you are. I can see I'm a Whoa. Android? He knows he's from Grey's Anatomy. <gasps> he knows I'm evil. You they put me in this game. Destroy Detroit. <laughs> Evil chinchilla. We make these androids in our own image, but they only reflect the darkness in our soul. Hallelujah. Whoa. How do, how does he reflect the darkness in his soul? He isn't. Don't they? Well, I guess we have to see if these robots have defining characteristics and like personality traits and morals or not. Or if they're just computer-like. Wow. The future is incredible. Oh, hey. Bellini, Bellini paints. paints. We found it. <gasps> A homeless person. He's going to be mad at you that you took his job. They took our germs. <laughs> you got to turn away. I'm not trying to fight no homeless man. I could take him. So many colors. Yeah, reboot. All right, I'm back. Bellini paints. Identification verified. 
They even make gingers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and 20... Here is your order number 847. That will be 63... Whoa! Please confirm that much for pain? In the year 2032, all the last gingers died off, so they had to make robots. No, they've actually said before that... Um, gingers will never die? No! They said before that the red hair gene is dying off, that it could die off in 50 years. Yeah, it died off so in 2032. Basically, they, so basically... They shut up! <laughs> so basically, anyone who's gingers who wants to keep the gene going probably has to marry each other. That's probably the only way. Bus stop is not this way. Wow, I like how like it it won't even let him walk around other places. It's like no, you have to go exactly where I told you. Jeez. What is this? I don't know what this is. Electric chair. Does he have oh. an electric collar? How would it know if he didn't go if he went another way? It's you know what this is? You leave your Android there while you go shopping. It's like a oh. parking lot for your Androids. Dang, why can't they shop wow. next to them? Well, like, if you don't want to take your Android in the store with you. You see, you bring your Android, and he's like, I could really use a new shirt. No! We've got families to feed, and these Androids... Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Whoa. Hmm? Hey. Tin Can. Very derogatory. Hey, guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Oh. I wouldn't do it. I got paint. Oh, he didn't have to push him like that. Hey. Family friendly show. Jeez. People are mean. Yeah. I don't think I would kick a robot even though I didn't. Oh, no, that would hurt. I wouldn't believe it was real, like a person, but I wouldn't kick it. Because someone up owns it. But see, the robot, he, he has to pass the Turing test, so he yes. can't fight back. It's enough. Leave it alone. He has to pass the what test? The Turing test. Oh, yeah. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. He's fighting that guy. You can take your job next. Yes, you like it. Okay. What job did you have that a robot took? Let's go. Were you a personal paint pickup delivery guy? No. Look, if a robot replaced you... But some of the jobs they did replace, but that still doesn't mean they should push them and things. Whoa, look at that bus! That's cool. I feel like this game is going to bring up a lot of, like, moralistic, um, conversations. On, on, oh, I didn't know where you were taking that. I was going to say, on Facebook, they had, like, a little demo thing of this. Uh -huh. To give you an idea of, like, what to expect from the game. Uh-huh. It was crazy. Is the Facebook video? Yeah, it was like a, it was like a video, but it would pop up like questions. Oh, they're all on the same bus. The the androids have to stay in the back in the android compartment. There's a lot of racial undertones in this game. Yeah. A lot. Well, it's been fun having a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? It kind of does make sense. Like, I could see this being how it would be like in the future. You know, like, if there were robots, people would be like, Oh, don't put the robot next to me. Oh! Well, I wouldn't I care if a robot was next to me. I would only care if someone valued the robot's life more than mine when it's, uh... That's if it came to saving me or a robot. I'd be pretty freaking pissed if someone saved a robot over me. But if I just sat next to a robot, I'd be like, okay, he just oh. chilled right next to me. Look, I could pull up world stats. See, look, 65% of people listen to Busker. I don't know who that is. 57% of people watch The Preacher. And 50% of the people, The Preacher, yell at us. How did we get it so he wouldn't yell at us? Some people read probably Secret... probably walked away. 52% of people read The Secret of Androids. So you did almost all the steps. Seventy-one percent of people got harassed by the protesters. Interesting. Must have just not for those who didn't walk as close to the protesters. Ooh, this neighborhood looks a little sketchy. Yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah, we are in the How ghetto can a, now. 
he can't afford an Android when he lives in this neighborhood. Loans. His priorities are off. You can tell it's a bad neighborhood because there's a broken down car parked on somebody's house and he's on the curb. He should repair his house before he buys an Android. But he doesn't seem like you're more normal. Personally, guy. I would say invest in a Bowflex and then buy an Android. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone in the house because I saw a red shoulder. Oh, he needs to invest in a power washer. Look at this. This is a disgrace. Before he buys an Android or Bullflex, Bullflex, he needs to fix his house. That's priorities are priorities. You know what? Not a not a horrible house. Just oh, needs a little please. TLC. Two weeks and the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it, where the fuck's the Oh, he's a now? kid. Oh, yeah, there you go. Alice! Maybe he does Alice! just have normal needs. He's just grumpy. Yeah. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that She's crap. the nanny. Oh, he's Got just it? a single dad, then. Get started down here, then. Maybe he's not as bad as we think. Yeah. But he doesn't seem really loving to his daughter, so. Yeah, he totally forgot her but name. But not as second. creepy as I thought he was, but Urgent still tasks. not great. Collect the trash. Optional task. Collect dishes. Activate the vacuum cleaner. Check the backyard. Let's take <gasps> out the trash so Are that you don't get rats in the house. Are we literally doing... Housework. You're literally cleaning. Is this housework simulator? My favorite. Yeah. I get to do things that I do normally in the house. But oh, in a video maybe. game. Maybe. There we go. Thank you. Depends on what you need. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Oh, sweet pizza. Oh, man. He is messy, messy. I'm surprised there's not, like, rats running around. Um, Kara? Yeah, same place. You need to, you need to separate the, the recyclables? I don't, I don't want to be a, be a nitpick or anything, but she should put it all in one place. I know. What happened to being environmental friendly? Well, she is a robot. She doesn't you. TV on. Oh man, that's so cool. I wish I could do that. You could just say TV on? Yeah. That would be cool. Got the trash. Problem solved. Take out the trash. Go grab that guy. Go grab what guy? The guy. The guy oh, that owns my. it. Take out the trash. <laughs> She's like, is this really my home? Oh man, 10 out of 10, game of the year. <laughs> Why? This <laughs> house is here, just cleaning. Fun time. Clean the house simulator. Wait. It just shows like all the different. <laughs> 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 you want clean trash, please? You want a clean child? <laughs> What are my other options? What are my other tasks? So fun. Report to Todd. Collect dishes. Activate Do vacuum. Do the vacuum. Cleaner. Oh, where's the vacuum? <laughs> Sixty dollars. I, I would paid. actually love a robot that would dust the house for me under all the crevices. I don't want to bend down and clean and the stuff. Sixty dollars we paid for for this game to uh, activate clean the, the robot and clean the house. What the. Uh, Oh lord, what is going on? I'm a little concerned to find out what's happening behind me. He's having an asthma attack. Yeah, sure. Asthma. Oh. Did he die? No, he He's just doing... has a headache. Oh. <gasps> it's a Roomba! it's a it's a Roomba! <gasps> DJ Roomba! <laughs> 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 Alright. Now I think we need to end the episode because we're getting a little kooky. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like for DJ Roomba and comment down below <laughs> what songs DJ Roomba needs to play next. <laughs> I'm going to do a crudely photoshopped DJ Roomba from Parks and Rex for the thumbnail for this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I already said that, but whatever. I can just imagine, what was his name in the TV show? Uh, I wanted to call him Dev, but that was the other show. I could just see him, like, 
being 80 years old in this year or that this airs or not 80 but like 50 or something yeah and he'd just be like yeah dj Roomba. <laughs> He's well. This is sixteen well, years cooler. in the future, so I no, be it's 80. twenty, and he's probably. 30, oh, you're right. It is so twenty. Probably, he'd probably be like fifty. Mm. What was his name? I know his real name. I think Master of None. Oh God, I can't remember his name. Aziz Ansari. There you go. But what the heck is his name in Parks and Rec? Brian. Brian. Uh, anyways, we'll figure that out later. Click the chinchilla icon in the center to subscribe. Click the video to the left because that's a video from my channel that I think you'll enjoy. And the video on the right is a video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Uh, I don't have a witty remark for this one. And um, I'm still thinking about what the heck his name is. <laughs> yeah, comment down below what, what Ziz and Zari's character's name from Parks and Rec was because it's going to drive us crazy. But all right, thank you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.